Hello, my loop friends. Welcome to Live Loopers. I'm Alex, and today on Live Loopers, we will be answering the question, is it possible to use GarageBand in conjunction with your Loopy Pro? This is Loopy Pro. It is such a wonderful looper, oh my goodness. And it has totally revolutionized the way I loop and changed it and makes things very nice and easy. And for me, it has made it so that I can do all of my looping on one iPad. I used to have three iPads and I would plug them all together and I would use one for uh, my looper and one for effects and one for generating the sounds. And the one that I used for generating sounds, uh, I would usually just generate a lot of those sounds with GarageBand because GarageBand is uh, really kind of genius and brilliant and wonderful and a lot of people really love it. Uh, I have not used this particular iPad and probably it's just been sort of sitting around now that I can do all my looping on one iPad. But um, one of the reasons that this is possible doing all my looping on one iPad is that uh, Loop Pro lets you import audio units and so that you can have uh, any app on your iPad that lets you, uh, that has an audio unit mode, uh, you can just bring that right into Loopy Pro and generate your sounds right in there and you can put effects on it right in there and then you can loop it right in there. All, all happens all inside of one iPad. It's great. Uh, this it would be awesome if uh, it had an audio unit ability, you know, GarageBand, but uh, Apple does not. Uh, they don't want that for whatever reason. Uh, and they make it, I mean, GarageBand is wonderful. It does uh, so many great things. I have made a series of videos about uh, different touch surfaces that you can use for different input modes, different ways you can get notes, uh, you know, the note that you want played. And uh, I almost forgot that GarageBand is so wonderful. Look at this touch surface designed for strings. It's so genius. Uh, you know, app makers really could, you know, they could be expanding beyond just, you know, the simple piano roll over and over and over again. And this is a perfect blueprint for uh, some of the great things that they could be doing. Uh, but regardless of that... used to use GarageBand all the time and today on uh, the Facebook group for Loopy Pro uh, somebody was talking about you know can I run two iPads in tandem and I was like yeah but like why would you even need to but then I was thinking oh yeah remember and I remembered when I first downloaded Loopy Pro and I was still in the mindset of three iPads uh, the one of the first things I did with Loopy Pro was uh, run it together with GarageBand. So I already know the answer. I already know the answer to my question. Is it possible to run GarageBand and Loop Pro together? Because uh, that was the first thing I did. Uh, but now that audio units uh, work with Loopy Pro so much, I don't do it very often. Uh, it's just kind of like, you know, kind of a hassle. I Okay, this whole setup is even easier to plug together than I remember. Uh, literally took me just like five minutes or less to plug all these things together. And uh, unfortunately, on this super old iPad, I am not able to figure out how to make a screen recording. So we don't have a nice, neat, uh, perfect uh, screen recording to show you. Um, I barely know how to do it on this old iPad, but this super old iPad, yeah, not at all. Um... But it's the sound that we are interested in for today, uh, so hopefully it sounds good. Uh, this connector right here uh, is not known for sounding great, but uh, it, it costs very little, very low price, so, uh, so that's good.
to connect these together, all I needed was just this little thing. It's called an iRig, and it is uh, very inexpensive. Um, it doesn't sound the best, but um, it's very inexpensive. Um, and then all you really do, I plug my uh, headphones into uh, this end, and then in this end you have a quarter inch jack, and you just plug that right in. And the other end of this particular cable has an eighth inch jack, and that eighth inch jack just went right into the old, old iPad. And uh, then this thing goes right into the new iPad, and the only other thing to remember was that I always mute my microphone uh, because I don't use my microphone in my uh, new Luby Pro iPad, uh, new old Luby Pro iPad. Um, so yeah, just uh, take the mute off of the microphone uh, because this thing coming in uh, keys off the microphone. And uh, that was it. That's all the worst to it. So, for me, that answers the question of, like, why would you even do that? Uh, you would do that because uh, playing GarageBand can be a whole lot of fun sometimes. Uh, the touch surface for getting notes into uh, your looper is, is really phenomenal. So, uh, for anybody that has two iDevices, you know, an iPhone and an iPad or two iPads or whatever you got, uh, if you have uh, a couple of them, then you can get a really cheap connector like this and connect them together and uh, then you can use GarageBand right into your Loopy Pro. So if you learned anything or that led to any thoughts or you had a good time listening to some music or you know whatever it is, uh, please leave a like. Um, even if you disliked it, just leave a like anyway just um, because I'm here making videos for you, trying to do something for you. Uh, and um, yeah, loop on. The pod.